my name is Andrew Kamba. Today I provide you a application of QGIS, how to enter X, Y coordinate in QGIS and create new layer. And in this tutorial, we learn how to save data in CSV, we learn how to save the projection, and uh, we learn how to create uh, a new layer in different format, especially in lines. But uh, do not forget to subscribe on my channel. Here is I want to set CSV file format. I will just find my director and save in CSV format, which is comma delimited. After that, I open my QGIS. My QGIS which I use is 3.4. Here I'm going to display the data, which is this is for vector, master, mesh, and delimited, rest of delimited, which is CSV point here we just find our directory and save our data on our directory was st1 here we found the special references sometimes we can find this is hidden you just click there and uh, make sure that's your point you just make sure that x is on x y is on y this or x, y, z, y, set the projection, special face, add the data, uh, the data appeared, and also here we want to can set in symbolize, but uh, look at what, but don't forget to follow me in my YouTube account by subscribing KMGIS. You can email me by gmail.com Share this to to label. This is it's no label, but you activate it with a single label. And then you will just find the label for what this our label is for stations. Um, you can change your colors, whatever you like. Okay, and then okay, you can see this is labeled. Here you can find this all as robots with six stations. Um, how to label your well, Now we want to see how to create a new layer. This one layer will be a line. What to join point from one point to another? Because this is plot. It's a new layer. A new layer. So get here for lines of sets. We need to find the little one we are going to save that layer. But I just found where I said my project is be project file. Okay, file. 
Okay, that is for attribute. Okay. Okay. Oh, that is point. Okay, that's what we must create for. Then we just remove it from our table content. We just create a new which is for line. It's for line. We must rename it for two y because groups is there. So just to remove the confusion. We like it to plot one. Yes, plot one. Check file. Yes, you just remember to write this line. And projection now is a seven zone at 60. Apply. Okay. Now we see this is appearance line symbolized. Okay, 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 okay. Don't forget to subscribe. In my YouTube channel, okay, James. You can email me for any color at gmail.com. You can comment there, you can like. Now, what to, to edit a line because we have already created a line. Now, we are going to edit a line. So, you must select a line, you edit there, we toggle, we toggle. Let's see, you see the symbol of the pencil there. It means it is ready for edit. Now the feature line, you are edit line there. Now, oh, there's no snapping. Okay, snapping, we come back. Now, hurry, now, hurry to set. Set how to set snapping in most cases people think that in futures there's no snapping that is there when you project the snapping option you click there to activate this you can set the vertices you can set the layer for snapping if we have many layers we can set for snapping now snapping is on we can snap there from point this to this one station to this one station to there, there, and there. Good. Now you should write an ID. Yes, yes, from here, 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 because this is truncation. We left it. I one stroke six truncation. And two ID. Okay. Now we have seen we have already created a new layer for line for point it's Y. So you can see you can continue to connect all points, but here we have already learned how to I've already learned how to get a new layer since for since for watching my videos in my next videos I will work with uh, attribute in QGIS also and the uh, QGIS or oh, in app map attribute but uh, now let us end in this tension but the next step will look deeply on how to add an attribute, how to calculate the area of the plot, how to edit an attribute. Concerned all attributes will work on, on it in next video, but do not forget to subscribe in my YouTube channel, KenJS. And you can email me what you want 
because you can talk even with Swahili for this is Tanzania. I know well Swahili than English. So you're welcome. Thank you.